my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you've all been doing very well. In today's video, I am sharing what I eat in a week as a vegan. I wanted to give a few disclaimers before we get started of things that I feel like are going to be relatively common question. The first one is you will notice that I don't snack a whole lot and I tend to eat three main meals throughout the day and that's basically what I eat. I eat intuitively. I basically just eat whatever I feel like as long as it's vegan. And essentially I just don't feel like snacking most of the time. I find that three big meals throughout the day really fill me up and make me feel good and that is just the way that I personally like to eat. The second thing you might notice is that I do tend to eat quite similar food in the sense that I know what my body feels good eating and my body tends to crave those kinds of foods. So I honestly always honor my cravings and honor what I feel like eating. And because of that, I do tend to eat quite similar foods a lot of the time. So I do apologize if there is any repetition in this video, but I just wanted to be realistic about the type of food that I eat in a week. The third thing that you will probably most definitely notice is that I do go out to eat quite a lot. I think in this video I go out to eat four times, which honestly is pretty stock standard in a week in my life. One of my favorite things to do is go out and try new vegan foods and go out to lots of uh, vegan eats that I like on the Gold Coast. So, so yeah, I do spend a lot of money on going out to eat for food and that is just the lifestyle I lead and I quite like it that way. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy this one. This is what I ate in a week as a vegan. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, Monday, let's do it. So first of all, I started with one avocado, which I sliced in half before slicing again like so, and then adding it into a bowl. I added also half of a lemon, the juice of half of a lemon, I should say, as well as some pink Himalayan salt before mashing it together like so and serving on top of some oat sourdough, which is linked down below. To balance out my savory and sweet, I added one whole orange which I sliced into quarters and that is what I had for breakfast. For lunch I went out to the salt mill with my friend Izzy. This is my favorite acai bowl place on the Gold Coast. I enjoyed an acai bowl with peanut butter and vegan chocolate granola on top and of course always BYO bowl. It's very very easy and I'm definitely in the habit now. Moving on to dinner and I just wanted something really quick and simple today. So I started with some olive oil, tinned tomatoes and garlic powder into a pan and then added some herbs, some spaghetti bolognese herbs and some basil. I then added in some gluten-free spaghetti fried this up over the heat and as you can see I've got a nice simple tomato pasta. I served this in my favorite bowl which you'll see a lot in today's video with some avocado and some nutritional yeast on top and that is what I had for dinner on Monday and concludes Monday so let's move on. So Tuesday, I started my day with a smoothie. I think you guys know by now, I feel my best and I love it when I start my day with a smoothie. In this one, I started with some frozen bananas before adding in some frozen cherries. I then also got some roasted hazelnuts. Roasted hazelnuts make everything tastes better to me like I just love them so much and I added so many as you can see I then also added in two tablespoons of cacao powder because I absolutely love it before adding in some homemade cashew milk I am back into making my homemade milks and it feels real good. I then added in a splash of vanilla for flavor before putting the lid of my Vitamix on and blending her all up. There we go. <laughs> After that, then I served it into a glass jar, of course, with my glass smoothie, which I'm absolutely loving. And that was my breakfast. Moving on to lunch. And now you will learn about my new obsession with tempeh, specifically this tempeh. It's like an adzuki bean and buckwheat or something like that. I used about a third of the packet here. And as you can see, I sliced it thinly like so before putting it all into a 
pan. I then of course fried this up with some oil as per usual before adding in some garlic powder as well as some pink Himalayan salt. I fried this all up over the heat and then I got two slices of once again my favorite bread, the oat sourdough. I'm obsessed. I put some mashed avocado on to one side and then I put some homemade cream cheese on the other side. When I perfect the recipe, I promise I will share it with you. Then I put my fried tempeh on like so. I am literally drooling just looking at this before adding in the greens. You got to have the spinach there, you know? I slice this up like so as you can see and that is my lunch today and honestly I wish I was eating it right now. Moving on to dinner and I'm starting first with a clove of garlic which I chopped up before adding it into a pan with some spring onion as well as some broccoli and some black beans. I then also added in some paprika as well as some pink Himalayan salt and then fried this all up over the heat before adding in some brown rice into a bowl which I had cooked earlier with the fried vegetables I'd fried up as well as a whole bunch of avocado and that is what I ate on Tuesday and so it's time to move on to Wednesday. Spoiler alert Wednesday is the only day this whole week that I actually snacked just just putting it out there. Anyway, for breakfast, we're starting with a smoothie, some frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, roasted hazelnuts, and cacao powder, and homemade cashew milk, and that is it. I popped the lid on, blended it all up, and then poured it into my usual glass jar with glass smoothie. Next, I snacked on these smushed whole food balls. They're roasted hazelnut and cacao, my favorite combo. I literally ate the whole bag of them. They are very, very amazing. Then I was still slightly hungry, so I had a piece of oat sourdough bread with some avocado on, as well as the homemade vegan cream cheese. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with this bread and avocado and cream cheese and yeah I enjoyed that. Then for dinner I first of all started with some sun-dried tomatoes and the oil that they came in into a pan before adding in some fresh broccoli as well as some cooked gluten-free pasta. I stirred this around a little bit before frying it over the heat and then I served it into my favorite bowl as per usual and that is what I enjoyed for dinner on Wednesday so it's time to move on to Thursday. back at it Thursday was a ridiculously good day of food and it started with an acai bowl. I put some frozen acai, frozen bananas, frozen strawberries and a splash of plant milk into a bowl, blended it all up until it was nice and thick and then put it into a bowl like so. I then added in some granola by the Bircher Bar which I'm loving at the moment as well as some fresh strawberries and then of course in my opinion, an acai bowl is not an acai bowl without some crunchy peanut butter on top. So I added a whole bunch of that and that is what I enjoyed for breakfast. For lunch, I took my beautiful friend Mackenzie out for lunch at Nude Sisters, which is our favorite on the Gold Coast at the moment. We decided to share a few things and we first of all started with a blue juice as well as a green smoothie, BYO straw always. We also had some potato salad and some water. It's good to know we were keeping hydrated. We then had the choc chip pancakes, which are our absolute favorite. And Mackenzie also enjoyed a barbecue jackfruit burger. For dinner, I wasn't super hungry, so I made something really quick, which was just two slices of oat sourdough with some vegan butter on, as well as some fresh tomato and some vegan cheese. Then I simply sandwiched this together and then toasted it in a frying pan for a little bit longer until it was nice and crispy and the cheese was nice and melted. And that's what I enjoyed for dinner. So it's time for Friday. Friday was a very different day of eating because I ran out of a lot of my usual foods. So we're actually starting by making some soaked oats. I used some cacao powder, some rolled oats, some plant milk and some maple syrup. And I put this into a bowl like so and stirred it all together till it was, you know, 
nice and smooth I then put this in the fridge for about an hour probably should have been longer and then put this into a bowl and served with some fresh strawberries and some roasted hazelnuts on top this was honestly surprisingly really amazing and I'm probably gonna make it a lot more now that I've realized uh, how good it is moving on to lunch and I first of all started with two pieces of toast and then I just put some peanut butter on top and that is literally what I had for lunch today because I had no other food in the house. For dinner I started with some lentils into a bowl which I mashed together to like mince them and make, make a nice mincy texture. I put this into a pan with some olive oil as well as some tin tomatoes, walnuts and pink Himalayan salt and then I fried this up and then added it into a container with some gluten-free pasta. I was working this night so that's why I was putting it in a container to take to work and it's time to move on to Saturday. another epic day of vegan food and it started off with this super smoothie as I like to call it with some frozen bananas, frozen spinach, frozen raspberries, roasted hazelnuts I then added in some maca powder as well as some flax meal and some cacao powder before adding in some homemade cashew milk. I love cashew milk so so much. After that was all done I then blended it all up until it was nice and smooth and then of course served this in my glass jar with glass straw as per usual. For lunch Mackenzie and I went to Elixir Bar which is a vegan and gluten free cafe restaurant on the Gold Coast. We had a fresh lemonade as well as an iced chocolate to drink. There's me looking interesting before also getting some nachos, a hamburger with fries and also a keto bowl which was just like tempeh and vegetables and stuff in a bowl. These fries were amazing and this girl is also amazing such such a wonderful friend for dinner I was going to work again on a Saturday night hospitality life and I started with some spinach as well as some roasted sweet potatoes into a bowl I then added in some roasted broccolini as well as some fried azuki bean temke temke tempeh and some avocado before putting the lid on and taking this to work <laughs> Sunday is really bringing it home because this was another epic day of vegan food. I started by making some pancakes which were honestly a bit of a fail so please do not try this at home. It was buckwheat flour, almond meal, baking soda, bananas, plant milk and maple syrup and vanilla and honestly I've made this sort of combo before but I don't know these just didn't turn out as good as my usual pancakes do. I mixed this all together and then made pancakes over the heat and then served them in my favorite bowl which we've seen many a time this video. I then added on some coconut yogurt on top as well as some fresh strawberries and some roasted hazelnuts. I also added in some maple syrup to sweeten it up a a little bit more and that is what I had for breakfast this morning and yeah moving on and moving on to brunch or lunch it was it was definitely brunch time but this was my lunch and I went to Blends Love with two of my friends Nat and Izzy. I enjoyed the Happy Hashies which is basically two hash browns, coconut bacon, some vegan hollandaise sauce, some greens. It's just a really iconic combo. I absolutely love it. I've ordered it many a time before. For dinner I first of all started with some spinach into a bowl before adding in some raw broccoli. I love raw broccoli. I know it can be a little bit bit weird but I love it. I then added in some roasted sweet potato as well as some fried azuki bean tempeh again as well as some fresh avocado. I then added in half of a lemon as well as some flax and sesame seeds and that is what I had on Sunday. Alrighty my beautiful friends so that is everything that I ate in a week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what your favorite day of the week was. I think that mine was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday I had that amazing tempeh sandwich and honestly that was like my favorite thing that I ate throughout the whole week. So yeah, anyway, as always, if you have any video requests or recommendations, please let me know down in the comments below and I will see you very soon for another video. Have a good one. 
Bye. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, boy, you know I'm crazy over you. No matter what.